guys it's rachel welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what i eat in a week so an interesting thing happened last night at 3 a.m you know i got up i went to the bathroom and there was you know a surprise waiting for me so it's really that time of the month again that really explains why i was so fatigued this past week i was so tired i took a freaking three hour nap yesterday and i was dizzy and tired and i was getting a little bit of cramps so you get to see what i eat when i'm on my period it's gonna be a very interesting week i hope for the best because usually i do feel a lot better after my period hits than before keep watching and i hope you enjoy this video bye guys it's Saturday morning and it's about 8 40 a.m. and I really want kimchi jjigae for breakfast. I ordered this from Amazon a few days ago. Honestly, I can't read Korean very well so I don't know what the directions are to cook this but I bought my electric pot which means I have a means to cook this. So you know, your girl's just gonna wing it. So this bibigo kimchi jjigae comes with two bags. One of them is the soup base and then the second bag is the stir fried kimchi and I just poured both of those in a pot and started mixing them up and heating them. I started letting them boil on high heat and then decided to cover it so that it would come to a boil and then once it did, I took it off and lowered the heat and then put in a boiled egg. It's 9.20 a.m. and I just made kimchi jjigae. It has a boiled egg stir-fried kimchi and then the packet of sauce actually had tofu in it. I just microwaved up some rice and I put in like half of it into here just because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish that. I don't think you can see that, but. It's hot. Oh wait, that's really good. Oh, and that's like spicy too. I like spicy. And the kimchi, I miss kimchi so much. with the white rice oh that's so good okay i want to try the firm tofu with the kimchi i'll put this right here oh that's really good hmm that's so interesting to me that this tofu can be at room temperature and stored up to a year i thought you had to put it in the fridge Not as good as my mom's back home, but this is super authentic. I boiled up an egg in my little egg cooker. So the egg is like medium to hard boiled. It's pretty good though. Like, look at this. That color of the yolk looks so good. Mm. I might actually end up finishing all the rice. You know a dish is good when I eat all the rice because rice is like kind of a side thing for me. While I admit that this was super salty, it was really a taste of home that I really needed. After that, I was really dressed up to go nowhere except the business building, which I got locked out of. So then I was just sitting outside and it was pretty chilly. And after a little bit, I decided to eat a kind bar. This was the milk chocolate and peanut butter one. It was super, super hard. Oh my God, this is so hard. I don't want to break my teeth. It's good though. I remember this day I had to watch a bunch of speeches for my cast class and act like I cared in the discussion posts. <laughs> and after that, I got back and I decided to eat some dried persimmon as usual, just to snack on because it's just one of the most convenient snacks. Wait, oh my God, this feels like it's gonna pop. Why is there so much pressure in here? Oh, that just splattered all over me, okay. So first I lather on a bunch of peanut butter and then I use that same spoon to put it in a separate bowl so I don't have to waste two spoons. Then I put some cinnamon and honey on top as well as some sliced bananas. Yummy. Lastly, I top it off with some pumpkin flax granola. All right, I just woke up from a literal two to three hour nap and I legit thought it was the next morning and there was a piece of drool this big on my bed. I made this fall themed yogurt bowl with pumpkin flax granola, bananas, peanut butter. For some reason, the kimchi jjigae this morning made me feel really tired. I think it's like something about salt and it makes me bloated and tired. And I had a lot of rice this morning too, so. Mm. Oh my gosh, this pumpkin flax granola and this yogurt tastes so good. Mmm. Y'all, I am so sad that I spilled half of that granola. 
or over half of it and all the good stuff came out because it was like all the big chunky pieces that fell out to the ground it is sunday morning 8 40 a.m i just hit my period last night which was you know wonderful i want to still get some exercise and walk before it starts raining in three hours so i'm gonna go to target and grab some more granola because i really want that pumpkin granola that i spilled i might get a matcha latte or something so i'll take you with me just in case i do eat something when i'm downtown this is my favorite type of weather it's so nice outside I love like, actually it's gonna rain today, but right now it's like 71 and like kind of chilly. So this is like perfect for me and my allergies. Oh my gosh, there's only one left. Saints Cafe is my absolute favorite place to get matcha lattes. Theirs is with oat milk and I absolutely highly recommend this one. And it's such a nice place to just sit down alone and they have social distance tables where it's just single seating. And I was reading an iBook from Shonda Hahn. It's called Of Glass and Glamour. I highly recommend reading it because her books are amazing. So after that, I went to another bagel place in State College called Irving's and I ordered their everything bagel with sausage, tomato, and egg. So I just got back from Target. I am so glad that I went early this morning because there was literally only one bag of the pumpkin granola from Bare Naked and it's limited edition and you know I was obsessed with it so I had to get it and if, there, if I went all the way to Target and it wasn't there and it was sold out, I would have been so mad and so hangry so it's okay because we clutched and we got the last bag i also picked up a bagel from irving's i've shown you guys bagels from bagel crust before i've never shown you the irving's bagels they're actually different if you can tell they're very like tiny they're kind of small but they're thicker they're fluffier i got it with tomatoes egg and sausage i got it on an everything bagel and i really like irving's bagels they do taste a little bit different because they're freshly made there every morning. I don't know if bagel crusts are, but they're still really good. The oil, I don't know if you can see that, is literally like oozing out of this sausage. <laughs> I don't know if that's like, ooh, yum, or if that's gross. Mm. The shirt that I'm wearing is not very good for days when I feel like I need to eat a lot because... It shows my entire um, abdomen and I'm flexing right now, like slightly. I cannot we be wearing this when I'm super bloated. Like yesterday before my period started, oh my God. I literally was just wearing a baggy pajama shirt because I was so bloated. And I know that things change, but it's feeling the way. For dinner that day, I was really not planning on eating any dairy because I was on my period, duh, but you know what, I ordered spinach ravioli with cheese because you live one life, might as well, and it was honestly a 6 out of 10, not that good. What is oh, this? I guess it's like a, the garlic butter thing, buttery thing? Is this a salad? I mean, weird. a salad. Because <laughs> it has some like weird white sauce. Interesting. How do I eat it? Is it good? That's interesting. Yeah. It's not good. It's fine. It's just but it, butter. Is it, 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 it yeah, this is just butter and bread and like a slight taste of garlic. Um. But it's not like I wish it was garlic bread, not Yeah, I want yeah. garlic bread. Yeah. yeah. I'm not I kinda thought it would be. I finished the whole thing, but I'm not gonna lie, it was just kind of average. It was even below average actually. And after that we were left with kind of a craving for something more, so we went to insomnia. And I got a cookie sandwich with a double chocolate cookie and a regular one with cinnamon churro ice cream. I feel like whenever I go out with my friends to have dinner, I should just assume we're getting dessert. I got an Insomnia Cookies cookie sandwich with a chocolate chunk cookie, a double chocolate chunk, and the cinnamon churro ice cream. And oh my gosh, it has like cinnamon toast crunch in it, and it's delicious. Mmm. I need to eat this before it melts all. Before all of it melts, because I had to walk back to my room. Oh no, it's getting everywhere. 
Oh, there it is. This cookie was literally cold when I got it. I was so disappointed. And Sami cookies really, that's like a rip off. Like you should not do that to your customers. I'm kind of mad because I think even this one, the chocolate chunk was cold. Double chocolate, oh. Double chocolate chunk cookie. It's actually still really good cold. It's Monday morning. I'm actually so excited because it's like 10.50 and I'm about to go to a bagel place and pliables, acai bowls that I went to last week with my NSO roommate. NSO was like an orientation my freshman year. So this was like a few months before my freshman year of college started and you get an assigned roommate. And it just turned out that me and my roommate got along really well. The first stop we made was Bagel Crest. As usual, we shared a bacon, egg and cheese bagel and there's Millennia. I miss you girl. And of course I got my almond coffee from there because it's so good and we each got our own pliables I got a half acai half pitaya Nutella bowl. It was delicious God do what you gotta do Melania I respect it. I respect it. Honestly, the YouTuber life can be extremely awkward because I pull out my camera at random times just to film myself eating and I do get some looks, but it's whatever. Also, it was freezing cold that day and eating a freaking cold acai bowl did not help with that. I feel like the acai here is actually really too sweet. It's a little overpowering. I am so full. I'm gonna need a little time to digest, so we'll see how this goes, but it was very, very good, and I was really glad that I got to see Millennia again, so I still have to finish all my physics homework that's due tonight, and then I have organic chemistry workshop on Zoom in an hour. I don't know if this is too much information, but I'm so full that I unzipped my pants, and I got cold, so I put this on. Had to change into sweats, because, you know, my tummy be popping. She love <laughs> This is literally the cutest drama ever. Things are getting spicy. Every time I eat something salty, I have to end with something sweet because sweets are my favorite thing ever and the Talenti gelato really does the trick. I ate literally so much of it, it was so addicting. <clears throat> Almost done with it. Oh my gosh. I just got back from a run. It's like 8 p.m. I decided to do some cardio because I haven't done it since I literally was at home and even then I didn't run. I just did five mile walks with my parents which was still like gave me some good heart exercise, made me feel like my blood was pumping. But since coming to school for the past three weeks, I literally have not done a single bit of cardio. I feel like my heart health was legit declining because I'd be walking up the stairs and huffing and puffing. So did that, I feel a little bit better. Oh my gosh, why is it so cold today? I'm like freezing. It's like 50 degrees. <laughs> I got brunch with my friend Becca and it was so, so good. I went to Sower's Harvest Cafe. It's so beautiful. And I love how they have that verse that says, I didn't come to be served, but to serve. I ordered a honey biscotti latte and it's so cute. Mm, okay, so I need some sugar. <laughs> Good. While Becca left to get some sugar, I filmed myself drinking this honey latte, and let me tell you, they do it right. <laughs> I ordered a veggie pesto omelet with cheese. I asked for light cheese, so you know what, I tried, and Becca ordered French toast. The omelet was filled with mushrooms, peppers, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese. It was delicious, and I really just pulled my camera out randomly to film that. And we ordered this plain pretzel and it was freshly made that morning. Oh my gosh. It was the pretzel of my dreams and it was humongous. Okay, I just went to Sower's Cafe and I tried their soft pretzel and they're known for that because they make them fresh every single hour. That was literally probably one of the best things, just in general, best foods I've ever had in my entire life. Like. 
I don't understand why I've been here for two and a half or two two years at Penn State and I have never tried it. I've literally been to sewers and I've tried like everything else, but I've never tried their soft pretzels. They're so soft, so buttery, and they have this like nice like crispy salt on the bottom and the top, and it's literally life changing. So if you want to visit State College in Pennsylvania and try the soft pretzels at sewers, please do. Can you guys guess the lyrics that I am singing right now? I just don't want to get copyrighted, but I was listening to the cover by Isabel with a Y on YouTube. I'm obsessed with her cover of Before You Go by Louis Capaldi. I am just having a banana and peanut butter for dinner. I might eat something else later if I get hungry, but since I'm not, I'm just going to have this and I'm feeling extremely lazy. I'm watching Record of Youth, episode four. Y'all, Record of Youth has some really frustrating characters. It is 10.20 p.m. I just got back from a run with my friends Kelly and Rose. I am so proud of myself because I got 8.2 miles total and 16,000 steps today. That is literally the most steps I've probably gotten in my entire college career this year. I'm extremely proud of myself for being able to run that far and shout out to my friends for getting me to be motivated. I heard that having protein after a workout is good for you. <laughs> I don't know if that's true and I don't know if this was like a workout where you're supposed to use protein afterwards, but I'm hungry-ish. So I'm having some Siggies. This was the last one at Target. And then bare naked pumpkin spice granola with that. I have no idea if I've tried this flavor before, but they didn't have guava at Target. So they had ginger berry, which I feel like is ginger plus blueberry. Oh my God, that's so good. It might be a mixture of ginger and cranberry. Honestly, the color makes more sense. It's like a really pretty red color. Dude, like, do you ever crave kombucha and just the taste of it down your throat at like 12 a.m.? Because that's that's how I feel. I like to eat this in layers and then just add granola as I go. This pumpkin and Siggy's yogurt was a perfect post-workout snack. I really enjoyed it. It is Wednesday morning, 9 a.m., and I went back to Shake Smart and I got the raw peanut butter acai bowl again because it was so good last time. But I did say that it was too sweet because I actually don't like super sweet acai. So I asked for them to do it without agave this time. So hopefully it's a bit less sweet and doesn't give me like a sugar coma in the morning. It doesn't feel right not knowing you. Knowing you. I like it better. It's still pretty sweet, but I taste more acai and less like sugary sugar so the thing about this acai is that it's like scooped and so it's like as you can see very thick and that's the way i like acai i like uba tuba in california which is also scoops whereas pliables the one that i went to a few days ago it's like a more of a soup i don't know it's more of like a smoothie i'm so happy that i can use my campus meal points on this i have a ton of english assignments due tonight because i procrastinated and watched k drama and then went for a run last night i'm gonna eat this while i start that I have a raw peanut butter acai bowl addiction now. <laughs> For dinner, I got their usual turkey dinner. It was actually pretty good overall. They upped the dining hall so there was some fruit and there was a big box of cantaloupe. They had these protein boxes. I also got this blondie and there's also ice cream now. Guys, I'm like shook right now. I think they updated the dining hall or something because I literally got a feast today. They had so many desserts. Like they usually only have like two, but they had like a whole like array. And I just chose the Brookie Square because I've never actually like had their Brookies, but they do look good. And I don't know if I'll have it today. And they didn't have ice cream before, but now they have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Today's dining hall food, I actually really like. Like it's the Thanksgiving dinner style one. They gave me a lot of mashed potatoes, like a huge amount, so. That I'll never know. I actually do like their mashed potatoes, like, it tastes like the store-bought one, but honestly, potatoes are potatoes. I'm really excited for the bread stuffing. I'm actually like obsessed with bread stuffing and I really do like the one in the dining hall. That I'll never mm. know. I actually really like it. It's so buttery and like the good amount of salty. It's mostly just buttery, which is why I like it. These parsnips look a little sketchy, not gonna lie. Actually, they're okay. They had like a special like butter roasted turkey. Mmm, that's good. 
Okay, I got broccoli on the side. I usually do like their broccoli. Mmm. Wow, they really pulled through and actually made a good dinner today. Miso glazed cod. I love fish and seafood in general. Actually, I don't know what they did, but why can't dinner be like this every single day? This is kind of good. Honestly, Thanksgiving dinner is so good. I look forward to Thanksgiving every single year because I'm obsessed with like pumpkin spice, sweet potato pies, and like banana cream pies, apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh. Since I'm going home this year for Thanksgiving, you're gonna get to see what I eat on Thanksgiving and it's literally a feast. I'm gonna taste test this cantaloupe. Don't paint me things. It's not amazing, but it's like better than usual. I don't know what they're doing, but it does not taste as stale. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't realize that Sister Sister is on Netflix and did anybody else watch that growing up? Because I was obsessed with it as a child. Like I know it came out before I was even born, but like I was very into watching older shows. Like I love Sabrina the Teenage Witch, like the one with Melissa Joanne Hart. T and Tamara are literally iconic and the show talks about so many important themes. So highly recommend watching this, guys. You can get that sweatshirt if you want. Yeah. Fine. Uh -huh. I'll return this to the not for my Oh my gosh, I love the parents in this show. The parents are hilarious, especially Lisa. Let's try this brookie. It looks good, kind of. I mean, the texture on the outside is a bit dry. Mm, there's little bits of chocolate chips in there. I love brookies because they're like half blondies and half brownies on the bottom. You know when you start a dessert and say you're gonna eat like half of it and then all of a sudden you just keep taking a bite here and there and suddenly it's gone? That's what happened with this blondie. <laughs> so good. I need to take like five of them next time. On this fine morning, I made oatmeal for the first time in ages and this is my trusty, trusty recipe. You just use almond milk and Nature's Path organic oatmeal and I put in some sliced bananas, a gob of peanut butter, and then some cinnamon, and then you add some honey. I mix it around and it was hella thick. Lastly, you just add in some dark chocolate. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I have not had oatmeal in literally ages. I don't think I've had it at all since coming to school. Do you hear this? That's when you know it's thick AF. Chocolate like melted in. I said my it's hella thick. You gotta add like a huge gob of peanut butter and lots and lots of chocolate and milk. Mm. What I love about oatmeal is that it's so quick but so filling. Oatmeal keeps me full for a really long time. Okay, I just finished physics lab and I'm so excited because we had an early day because the lab was super short and we knew what we were doing so yay to us. Now it's like 11.30, I'm still pretty full from the oatmeal but honestly second breakfast all the way and I still haven't opened this honey bunches of oats almonds which is the best cereal. Do you hear this crunch? Like, Honey Bunches of Oats is a mixture of like corn flakes, frosted flakes, granola, they have almonds. Like, it's just a perfect combination. Look at how cute the back of it is. When I was younger, on the back of the box, they used to have the backstory of how Honey Bunches of Oats was made. The actual guy that made it apparently was like a manager or he used to work for Kellogg or something like that. He literally was just like at home playing with cereal because he was just trying to create his own combinations. And then all of a sudden he mixed these like three cereals or something and his daughter tasted it or something and was like, oh my gosh, you're onto something like that's really good. It was honestly so inspiring when I was in like fifth grade reading that. 
for dinner, I got a roots bowl. It was so healthy and so yummy. It has lemon tahini dressing, chicken, tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. And I went with my friend Sonali and she always gets her roots rice bowl. Eating outside was really fun for how long it lasted because it wasn't very long until the bee attacked us. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. We were eating outside and the bee literally assaulted us again. Absolutely not. I'm not getting stung. Not this year. Not 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 this year. It's just not gonna happen. I brought the rest of my roots bowl back and we ate a little bit and I'm gonna finish it in my room. And let me tell you, I always get the exact same thing every single time and it's the best combination. The grilled chicken is amazing and there's sweet potatoes and broccoli like mwah. I love that the portions are literally huge. It's so filling. Kiva got jasmine milk tea. I got guava lychee green tea. Boba expert. It's very sweet with a hint of flour. <laughs> <laughs> so, so out of 10, what do you think? I give it a eight. Oh, that's pretty high for boba. Yeah. Dang. Okay. I trust you. Mm. When you get boba, do you guys get milk tea or fruit tea? Because I used to be milk tea all the way, but these days I really like the lightness of fruit tea. I find these to be so pretty. Like, look at this, like, like look at this star, and like, it's like, a, it's like a little flower in the middle. I said my piece, I let so fun to eat. The cards are not mine to hold. I never usually eat trail mix at all, but my parents sent me this in the care package that they sent me for my birthday. I'm getting a little peckish again at, you know, 9.30 p.m. So I'm gonna eat these, but I probably won't eat the raisins or the cranberries because I'm not a fan. On Friday morning, I was just craving ramen, so I decided to make ramen for breakfast, and I love Tin Lamyeon, it's one of the best brands, and I decided to put in the packet of vegetables first, and look at that, Rachel, you do realize that the sauce packet is in the water. And so I had to use a spoon oh to throw it in the trash, but then I realized that I still needed it, so I had to take it out of the trash and then pour it on top of my noodles. <laughs> Honestly, adding an egg to ramen is the least that you can do to make yourself feel like a chef because it really elevates the taste. Do I sound like a chopped judge right now? Because that's what I'm going for. <laughs> Guys, it's Friday morning and I finally made chingdamyeon! I wish I had chopsticks, but I don't. So I'm just gonna eat it with a spoon and if it gets too hard, I'm just gonna get a fork. It's way too hot to eat right now. Oof. That egg with the soup is so good. Mm, so good. I didn't realize a pack of chin ramen makes so much noodles. Like, I don't know if I can show you all of them, but like, do you see all this? There's so much. I have so much geography homework to do today. I also have chem homework due tonight, and I'm probably just gonna watch YouTube or Sister Sister while I eat this. As usual, dessert in the form of milk chocolate mini peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. However, recently I've been really obsessed with the dark chocolate peanut butter regular size cups. We're gonna open this cookie cake because it was Rachel's birthday. I know, they bought me some gold. Yeah, okay. extra roommate was a week late with the birthday present, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So it's a lot that counts. It is, and I'll eat cake any day. So thank you guys. Will you eat the whole thing? I have no answer because it's questionable. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. Well, you guys, happy birthday, Rachie's Blocks. Is that what it says? Oh, Jesus? It says <laughs> wait, it says Jesus. It says Jesus because. We love Jesus here. We do. Like, we do. We do. Um, I mean, we're Jewish, but I we're mean, also. He he he, it's so thick. He he. Okay, how big do you want the pe your piece? Yeah, like a big piece. Mama's gotta eat. Yeah, we, <laughs> we all gotta eat. This is huge. 
This is the cookie cake. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Okay. Are we all gonna take it? Yeah, take I'm ready. It? Okay. So fing gooey, sorry. <laughs> That's so good. Mmm. Mmm, good. Wait. Are you? Mmm. It's like not cooked, but it's cooked. Mm hmm. Dare I say it's better than insomnia? I don't know. Oh no, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. better than insomnia. No. I think a lot of things are better than insomnia to be here. I think that's just like basic. You get roasted by insomnia fans. <laughs> do you, you do like cheese, right? I do. I'm just lactose intolerant. Though. Yeah. But we you are. Pop a pill. Mm -hmm. She always pops. I love pill. that lactose intolerant people don't care about being. No, I'm like I. I'm so mm. right. It's so good. I'm straight up about to finish this entire cookie cake right now. I gave like a sliver to my friends Rose and Sonali, but other than that, I finished like quite a bit. So we'll see how much I have. Look at this huge cookie cake. Thank you so much, Ashini and Jackie. It was literally delicious and I'm still snacking on it clearly. Now that I'm back in my room, I have my almond berries. We're gonna put this in a bowl. And take this large piece of cookie cake. Oh my gosh, yum. It's so creamy. Mm. It's super doughy if you can't tell. This was basically just milk and cookies, but a humongous cookie cake. It was delicious. Mm. So warm. Y'all, look at this. So the original plan was to just go to the dining hall and get like salmon and kale today, a pretty healthy dinner. Honestly, today I was just really not feeling it. I did feel like getting DP dough though. I've been wanting this since like the beginning of the semester, but I haven't been able to get it. Just, I haven't gotten the chance to. I always get it with ranch and marinara sauce because I'm a very adamant supporter of pizza and ranch. I ordered the chicken parmesan, so it has like chicken parm, which is like breaded chicken, mozzarella cheese, and I think that might be it. I have it all over my face. For me, when it comes to calzones and pizzas, the more cheese, the better. I really just needed comfort food, and this, this is so satisfying. Mm. The bread is so fluffy and creamy. Midnight Runners was such a funny movie. I really enjoyed it, and honestly, a movie night alone in my room with DP dough was my kind of night. I really had fun. <laughs> This is what I'm doing on a Friday night at 2 a.m. with my friends from back home. <laughs> my first time playing Among Us. It's like a online version of Mafia, apparently. Hi guys, it is Saturday morning. I had some cookie cake for breakfast and I'm waiting for my Chinese food to be ready and I'm gonna pick up a dumpling soup because it's kind of cold today and this is the last sweater that I have and I definitely need to do my laundry because I have no more long pants. I was not expecting it to get this cold this fast. It's only like 60 degrees, but that's like pretty cold. It doesn't get like right now in California, there's still fires. So I'm looking a little bit disheveled. If you can see my intense eye bags right now, I am exhausted. I literally woke up at 1130 and that's half the day gone. I'm usually a very morning person. I will wake up around 8 a.m. or 7.30 usually. This week was kind of a very tiring week for me, probably just because I was socializing more than usual. That drains me, so I just want to have a day for myself to just be alone today, and that's the plan. I'm pretty sure I will succeed, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and my period actually ended like after like three or four days. It was pretty short this week, but nevertheless, I I did experience the cravings, I did experience a little bit of the cramps, but it wasn't too too bad. Overall, I feel like I had a pretty normal week of eating, except yesterday was kind of like a lot of food for me. I was very full, which is probably another reason why I slept so much because I was in a food coma. I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys! There's the dumpling soup that I ordered from the Chinese restaurant. Bye guys! Yeah, yeah.